Panther Nation, what's cracking? Just came off a wonderful victory back to back. Let's talk about what I saw when I watched all 22. You are now tuned into the Panther Nation podcast. The long So one thing we're going to examine today on the film session is chunk plays, okay? I didn't anticipate doing this video uh, when, I, when I turned on the film to watch this. I was just going to just browse and peruse and looking at the game, just getting some views. And I'm like, man, we, we I was looking at next-gen stats, and I'm like, man, we got some chunk, like a ton of chunk plays. Passes between 10 and 20 yards, okay? So uh, in week one, and this, this is progression, just, and you can kind of draw conclusions here um, that, and that correlate to, to, the, to the success. So, week one, 7 to 12 but in pass plays from 10 to 20 yards. Teddy was 7 to 12, so pretty efficient, right? Week two, uh, 9 of 11 with one interception. And then week three, it, it goes left. And the reason why it goes left is because Russell Okun got injured and we had a turnstile at left tackle. So we, he only went one of three. Everything was underneath. Everything was pretty much dink and dunk at that point because he didn't trust his, uh, his left tackle. Now that Teddy trusts his left tackle, you see what happens. Six of eight in this game against the Cardinals. Six of eight, which is crazy. And we're going to take a look at some of these plays here, but it's crazy. I mean, you can see that Teddy is starting to trust the, trust the offensive line and trust the play. The anticipation is starting to get there. He's starting to, to time throws and anticipate throws. And once that happens, this offense is going to be pretty good. I mean, it's already good. But it's going to be way better once the chemistry is there. But uh, that being said, let's take a look. All right, what's good, everybody? Let's get into this first play. Um, this is going to be a, a third down. Third down and seven. And let's see how uh, Joe Brady draws this one up. I think it's a really good play. Um, and I think Teddy does a great job pre-snap um, of uh, taking what the defense is going to give him. Okay, so if you look um, at... Okay, so the first indication, Mike Davis comes in motion, right? Mike Davis comes in motion, and nobody's coming with him. Uh, so uh, it appears that it's going to be his own defense, okay? So he's going to stop here in the slot and look at Teddy. So Teddy's coming up to the line of scrimmage. He's saying, hey, I need a, I need another blocker. I see a blitzer coming. Uh, I need some more blocking, all right? So he moves he moves Mike Davis into the backfield so that he can be an extra blocker. So that's what's happening right there. So as you can see, we're going to stop it right here. So you can see four men are coming. There's a four-man rush coming, and then we can watch this play develop. So you can see these guys are dropping back. So it appears to be like a cover four almost, almost like a cover four. All right? So you can see, um, and then the, the great thing about Joe Brady's plays is that there's always an, op op an open option, okay? There's always an open option. And right here, Teddy has two open options right you got Chris Manhurst that's gonna come across the middle it would have been an easy first down but look we criticized him last week for not throwing to the sticks so Teddy what does Teddy do he does a great job but I don't think he went through his progressions all the way I think he he knew he was going to Robbie Anderson over here and you can see right here with this with this safety dropping back right here the safety's gonna drop back into like a cover four look and then there's no linebacker in the world that can hang with Robbie Anderson so he's like all right I got I got this Robbie Anderson's gonna come and do an out route, and it's wide open. With the with the cover four look, or with the with the safety dropping back uh, due to uh, the, to respect Robbie Anderson's speed, the the sideline is always going to be open. The sideline is always going to be open when these guys under, are underneath their playing zone. So what's happening? And then look, what, what how this is how they fixed it from last week. We criticized them last week, and we'll let this let this rock. We criticized them last week. I just also want you to see this. Uh, this blocking. Watch this blocking too. All right, look at this blocking. Look at the way this, look at this pocket set up. I mean, look, he got all day to go through his pro progressions. Moten, look, everybody's doing their job, and even when he called up Mike Davis uh, to be the extra blocker. All right, so look, we criticized him last week for not throwing to the sticks. What did they do? Throw 10 yards past the sticks almost. About eight nine, eight, nine yards past the sticks. So he's way past the line to gain, and so that's what we needed to see. Great play call uh, by um, by Joe Brady and great execution, great execution by the offense. Great execution, all right? 
All right, here's a second down play, uh, second and eight. Very interesting. I think somebody in the chat called this out. Not the chat, excuse me. Somebody in my comments last week called out and said, hey, we need to see some more rub plays, some more slants across the middle. And this is what Joe Brady gives you right here. This is a great play call, and I think it's damn near indefensible. There's nothing you can do about this, okay? You can draw this play up against anybody, and it's going to be really, really tough to guard, okay? Uh, let's check this one out. So, first of all, again, the first thing that happens, I think that's Ian Thomas comes in motion, okay? Ian Thomas comes in motion, and you see that this guy right here is following Ian Thomas. What that tells you, when a guy goes in motion, that gives you the indication of whether the, the, the coverage is man or zone, okay? And so what, what happens is, since this guy is running with Ian Thomas, that's a man coverage. And so Teddy realizes that. Teddy realizes, all right, they're in man coverage, and watch how this play does. It's a perfect play call against this defense. I mean, you can't get a better play call. Again, second and eight, and so watch what happens. Watch what happens. So boom, all right. So you've got DJ Moore. This is DJ Moore right here. This is uh, Ian Thomas, and watch what happens. Watch what happens. I'm going to put it in slow motion so you can see it. So this, this is called a rub route. This is called a rub route right here. You got Ian Thomas coming over the top and DJ Moore coming under. They're in man-to-man -man defense, okay? They're in man-to-man -man defense. That means Patrick Peterson is responsible for guarding DJ Moore. There's no way he can do that because essentially uh, Ian Thomas is running a pick. And if the timing is right, you're going to get some yak. So that's what happens here. The timing's perfect. He hits him in stride. He hits him in stride. And he's got some room. He's got plenty of room. Since everybody playing man to man, everybody's on their man. Everybody's guarding their guy. So this guy's guarding this guy. This guy's guarding this guy. This guy's guarding this guy. So there's going to be plenty of space for, for him to run. And that's what happens. He gets the ball. He runs up. And had Patrick Peterson um, not got a hold of him, that would have been some more yak. But that's a great play call. I mean, it's easy pitch and catch. Easy pitch and catch. Great play call. And we can just watch the, watch the protection. Watch the protection. Because you got to have time. That's the thing with this. you got to have time to let this play develop. you got to have time for DJ Moore to get across the field. And look, look, it's five men coming. Five guys coming. The pocket is clean. Five guys coming. The pocket is clean. Clean pocket. You can't get a better pocket than that. Look at Greg Little. Guard one-on-one. -on -one, mano y mano. Chris Reed helping out. I mean, it, it doesn't get any better. The pocket doesn't get any cleaner than that. Okay? You're not getting any better than that. Uh, and it's a, a great play call. Great play call, great execution once again uh, by the offense. All right, so here's another one, guys. This is second and eight. Again, this is just easy football here. This is easy football. Watch what happens. Watch how it sets up. Again, I'm gonna give you. I'm gonna give you the basis. Look, we've got uh, Chris Manhurts going in motion. So you can see this guy comes down. You can see some adjustments, but there's nobody following him. So what does that indicate? Ding, ding, ding. You're right. Zone. That's a zone defense. I want you to real, look at how much real estate is over here. They're going to the the um, the open side of the field, not this side. There where there's little to no field over here. They're on the uh, I think they're on the right hash. So they've got all this side on the on the left, and that's where they go. Look look how much field is open here. So all right, we recognize they're in zone. So the ball hikes hikes the ball, and you can see these guys setting up again. It's like looks like a cover four. It's the same coverage. Like a cover four or something like that, and this and they were see they're respecting they're respecting his defense. I mean, excuse me, they were they're respecting his speed. So this dude's all turned around. He's all jacked up. He's turned completely around. Once you have a guy turned around like that, perfect time to throw the ball. Look at how much field he has open over here. Teddy could throw it only to where DJ can get to it. And look look at this, look at this, perfect pass, perfect pass. Look how look. This is the this is the line to gain right here. This is the line to gain. Look how far past the line to gain he is. That's how you move the ball. That is is a great play call, great execution. Again, it's the same same play as uh, what I showed you earlier. Essentially, it's the same play out route to the corners where it's wide open, and they're playing some sort of zone, some sort of deep zone, uh, and it's, it's it's pitch and catch. Watch how the offensive line holds up here. Offensive line holds up. Let's run that back. Let's run that back. Wasn't ready. All right, so watch how let's watch how the offensive line holds up here. Run this thing in slow motion, okay? We've got double double the two tackles. Look look at uh look at Greg Little right here. 
The only person that struggled was Manhurts, but still gave Teddy just enough time to get the ball off. Wasn't great coverage there, but it was just good enough. Just good enough. So shout out, again, good execution, great play call uh, by Joe Brady. All right, what's good, everybody? So this is another, um, uh, the, this is the screenplay, actually, where Greg Little gets. This is, again, I mean, you can't execute better than this play. Um, I'll let you guys, oh, I don't know, I hate when it jumps like that. But all right, as you can see, setting up, you got Robbie Anderson. Robbie Anderson is going to come in motion here. So that's Robbie coming in motion. And I want you to see how this play sets up. All right, pause, pause, pause. Look, so you got, you got, Ian Thomas going up here, uh, crossing, doing a crossing route. You got Zilstra running an out route towards this direction. You got Bonifon running this direction. You got Curtis Samuel out here this direction. The entire play, you've got one, you got he's looking that way. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven dudes essentially looking this direction. Looking uh to their to their right. And then even even uh, Teddy Bridgewater's roll, he's rolling in that direction. But then you, if you watch how sneaky it is, you can see all the offensive linemen coming out to the left. So just watch this thing develop a little bit, a little bit more. So look, the whole convoy, the whole convoy is over over this direction. This, at this point, they know everything is jacked up. All these dudes going this this way, know they messed up. And this is why. Look how much room Robbie has to go. So this is just a great, well-designed play. You got boom, he's out of here. That's one play, or that's one guy down. Then you got, you still got two. That's that's Greg Little just doing work right there, pancaking home homeboy. And then you got, you still got uh, Chris Reed, and I believe that's uh, Paradis, both out here doing work. Both out here doing work. Still, we talking about 15 yards down the uh, down the field, and they still they still doing work. So just well executed play. Well executed play, another good play uh, that's drawn up, misdirection play by uh, by Joe Brady. Good good play call there, and we can watch it from this direction. Just watch how everybody's floating this way. Look at all these defenders going that way, and they realize they messed up. Uh, Greg Little with the pancake, and then it's just great, great play, great play. All right, so here's another one. Um, this is going to be second and seven, um, and we're driving here. And this is just how you continue drives, man. Um, with this one, as you can see, uh, Teddy already sees uh, everybody's man to man. Um, you can tell by here. Look how every, you have a man on man, and then this guy. Everybody has pretty decent cushion. Um, nobody's you know playing. Nobody's gonna jam him, uh, jam any receiver. So they all have free releases, which is a mistake. Uh, but at the same time, I see why they're doing that. You, you're you hedging your bets against the speed. All these guys have speed, and it's very difficult uh, to jam if you don't have if you don't have uh, that catch-up speed. So here we go. So let's watch this play. Again, Teddy already knows his man-to-man. -man. He already knows his man-to-man. -man. And then boom. All right, so you can see man-to-man. -man. Everybody's taking off. Good protection. We're starting off. And then watch this. Watch that route by... That route by... Uh, by Robbie Anderson. I mean, it's just not fair. It's not fair. And listen, he saw it because it's man to man. Teddy saw it. There's the, there's no way. Uh, good luck trying to, especially trying to guard um, Robbie Anderson on a free release. I put played in slow motion. Watch, watch, dude get juked right here. So he's setting him up, setting him up. Boom. He's already off balance. It's a wrap. Inside. There's no help. This the linebacker is too slow. They've been killing this linebacker all game in zone coverage. He's too slow to react. And he thought, I guess this dude thought he had a little bit of help. The ball was placed perfect. It's a perfect throw by Teddy uh, to, uh, to Robbie Anderson in stride. Once that chemistry, look, I did it. I told you guys on the show yesterday, that chemistry between Robbie Anderson and Teddy Bridgewater is is it's on. They're hitting right now. And um, when you could throw a ball like that, hit him in stride, and he's still going. He's still going. Look how many yards at the catch he gets. That's because he hits him in stride. Again, great throw, and that's just, that's just a testament to the protection, play call, and chemistry between Teddy Bridgewater and Robbie Anderson. Here's a note, another one. You can see the protection. Boom, you can see the protection set up. It's a quick pass. Linebacker slow to react, and uh, it's, a, it's a nice game. All right? Here's another good one. Um, let's, let's watch this one. Another deep pass. 
As you can see, Teddy, I mean, excuse me, uh, Curtis Samuel going in motion. Man to man, this guy follows. Number 20 follows uh, Curtis. And then, this is mano y mano right here. Mano y mano. So third, this is the third quarter. I think they started switching to a lot of man defense because they were getting their zone was getting torched. And so, listen, I thought this this is a really good play. Teddy has plenty of time. The pocket's clean. They brought a blitz. There's one, two, three, four, five guys coming over. Um, Greg Little does a, a good job of getting this guy up out of here. The play has time to develop. And this is a really good throw. I mean, this is a really good throw by, by Teddy. A really good throw by Teddy. I mean, I don't, I don't think enough is being said about how well this dude is throwing the ball right now. Let me take that back. Let me take that back a little bit so y'all can see. Um, let's watch these receivers. So you can see, let's just let, let this play slowly develop real quick. So you can see Ian Thomas coming over. Um, DJ Moore on a quick out. Ian Thomas on an on inside route. And then uh, there was a nice little route combination to kind of confuse the cornerback. And it's almost like a pick play between uh, this cornerback who's guarding Robbie Anderson and the cor the cornerback who's guarding. Uh, and I thought it was well guarded. This play is actually well guarded. The number 20 is all on Curtis Samuel. They, they create the pick here. Boom. Pause it. So you can see the pick. They don't go for it. Um, it's it's still kind of a natural pick, but the guy is is still close enough. But Teddy trusts trust the receiver, um, throws it high enough to where only Curtis can get it. And it's I mean it's just a good that's just a really good thrown ball. And he has some time to to get some yak. Just a really really well thrown ball. Not enough being said about how well Teddy's putting uh, putting these balls on the spot. It's just a well thrown well thrown ball. Well thrown ball. Let's see here. Let's take a look at the protection uh, from the other angle. Um, let's see here. Let's run this in slow motion. All right, you can see um, Moten is doing his doing his thing. The guards, inside guards, doing their thing, picking up the blitz. Uh, Greg Little catches this catches this blitzer. A pl nice pocket, nice clean pocket, nice clean pocket. See, this is what happens when you give Teddy some time. This is what happens when you give any quarterback some time. Hell, if Cam Newton had this time, he'd probably still be a Panther. But I mean, this is just a a testament has to go. I mean, props has to go to Joe Brady and Teddy Bridgewater for uh, for for uh, actually executing this offense. They did well today. They did well on, on this day. Again, you see it. Just keep pounding. We're, we're looking good. And let's see how the let's see how Joe Brady adjusts. Um, and let's get this victory in Week Five against the Falcons. I think you'll see some of the same execution against the Falcons. They had some of the uh, they have some of the same issues. Uh, that the Cardinals had, and I expect us to, to feast on those those safeties. Uh, I think we're gonna get the W for sure. I think we're gonna get the W against the Falcons. All right. That being said, make sure you hit that like button. Make sure you subscribe. Keep pounding, and I'll see y'all in the next one. Peace.